Good morning. Welcome to our morning time together. Which is easier, for Jesus to heal or to forgive sins? We're going to look today at Mark 2, verses 1 to 12. And that's quite a piece, so we won't be able to read it all. But let's look at the case here. Uh, we have uh, Jesus. He's come back to Capernaum, and uh, the house is filled, just filled to the brim, and somebody needs in. And so we read verses 2 and 3. Uh, immediately many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them, not even near the door, and he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was laying. So there's the setting here for us. Uh, so it sort of breaks up the meeting here. Here comes the paralytic. And uh, Jesus looks at him. And uh, he's obviously a person who is, is, has mobility, lack of mobility. Jesus says, son, your sins are forgiven. And the people in the crowd are like, what? He can't say that. He can't say that because only God can forgive sin. This is blasphemy. And Jesus knows what they're reasoning in their hearts. And he says, well, which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or to say uh, you are healed? And so Jesus heals this man. And the word goes out, you know, how could he possibly say this? How could he do this? And the word here is that Jesus, Jesus is God. He can forgive sins. He has authority to heal and to forgive sins. And he tells this young, young fellow also, uh, pick up your bed and, and go out and sh walk around with it. You know, take it home. So he's putting the word out. He's putting the sign out that, yes, uh, something new is happening, something giant and new is happening. Jesus has come, and he can heal. And so this is a, a, a sign to everybody who sees it, this fellow walking with his bed. So there you have this very interesting business. And, of course, out of this uh, rises uh, people saying, well, this is amazing, and so the word goes out, this amazing thing has happened. Well, what about it then? Um, is salvation sometimes bigger than you thought? Sometimes that's the way it is. We, we just, you know, this fellow wanted, I'm sure, just to have himself healed. But the first thing Jesus did for him was he forgave his sins, which is way bigger than just healing somebody. But Jesus does both. He says, you know what? Salvation's bigger than you thought. I will forgive your sins, and I will heal you as well. So there's where God, he always wants to give us more than we might have anticipated having. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that what you offer us is virtually always more than we've expected. Sometimes we didn't really plan for the big thing, but Lord, you give us not only healing, but you want to give us forgiveness for sins. So bless us in that way. Build us. Watch over us, Lord, and I hope we have friends that are willing to take the roof off to get us in there with Jesus. But whatever it takes, we want to come in with you. Bless, we pray, Lord. Help us, Lord, to have faith that is through the roof, and in this case, quite literally. Thank you for these, these gifts. Thank you for these gifts, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, what about it? What do you think this paralytic did for Jesus after he was healed? What do you think he said and did for him? If you want to, comment down below. I'd be interested to see uh, what your thoughts are. I don't think this moment was something that was forgotten. This was the highlight moment in this person's life, for sure. God be with you today, and watch over you.